Does it work now? Is it working now? <laughs> oh, this is great when this happens. No sound. Good now. Yay! Okay. Really sorry, guys. Good morning. Guess what? Me and Ray are human again. Um, on Monday, when Ray was like basically sick on the workout, he actually was sick. He caught me a sickness bug and was really bad. And then I got it Monday evening. <laughs> so, but we're all human again. Yesterday was a day of rest, ready to reset. So weird that someone like yeah. one, one and a half foot tall can give you like a bug. Yeah. So yesterday we was resting, today we are back, like pow, pow, pow. Seems like it was just like a 24 hour thing, yeah. but it was, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was quite bad because we were quite violently sick. Yeah. It was almost like, has anyone, what's that episode? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, today's Weighted Wednesdays, okay? So you do need your weights. It is leg day. Um, so make sure you have got some kind of resistance and yeah, we'll go through the workout, okay? So guys, you're going to yeah. learn today 12 different movements to hit your legs directly um, that you could do, obviously, from home. Definitely. No equipment needed other than your pair of dumbbells. You could still do this workout if you have a kettlebell. Um, any kind of resistance is fine, um, but hopefully everyone, majority of people, got dumbbells. So yep. we are going to get going. We are. Let's go. Great. Right, we must order a new thing, so it's really warm. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah. yeah. So that was wear and tear after a year. Yeah. Twisting through the back and hips. So hopefully you're feeling good and no one's got a sickness bug. Good morning. Okay, into a hamstring walkout. Feet hip width apart. Really important. Stretching them hamstrings out. Coming all the way down into the cobra. Pushing up and then back to our feet, okay? Good. Back down we go, number two. Really stretching the hamstrings out. Push. Good. And number three, final time, okay? All the way down. Good. Right arm, right leg. Open up the hips. And then left side. Taking it back to the right. One more on the left. And into mountain climbers, knees to chest, okay? And squat for us, both legs coming in, opening up and then back. Good, up to the feet, legs go wide. You know. Everyone knows the drill. Everyone knows. So yeah, lower body today. Missed it, Max. And Max. Arms go ahead. Good. Lunges. Open up to lower body. Definitely. It's mad how like more alive I feel yeah. than you. Absolutely. And shake it out. Ooh. Okay, good stuff. So today's workout, Weighted Wednesdays, the format is 90 seconds of an exercise followed by 30 seconds of a different exercise, okay? We've got two rounds of 12 minutes. Your first exercise of the 90 seconds will be with weights. Your second exercise will be body weight, okay? Yes, guys, make sure, please, when you make that transition from body uh, from weighted to body weight, please get them dumbbells right out of the way so we're going to get no ankle rolls or anything. Um, just make sure you chuck them out of the way and go straight into your body weight exercise. For the first three um, exercises with the weights, the finisher is a certain exercise. The next three is a different exercise, and that's round one. Then we'll go on to round two, okay? So, yeah. so it should be quite simple to follow. Um, like always, take, your, take extra rest if you need it, but try and push yourself. And low impact options will be given where necessary, okay? Um, we had really good feedback the other day. Someone said about uh, where I was doing the low impact options. It helps them see. So 
what I'm going to start doing is I'll do low impact to make it a lot more easier for the low impact people to see where needed and then Ray will do high impact, okay? First exercise, goblet squats. So one or two dumbbells in your chest. Um, if you have got round dumbbells, please just watch out if you are holding two because they won't be so secure, but the hex ones will be great. I'm going to use one just to ease myself into the workout. And we're just here, just goblet squats, elbows to knees. Yep. And the finisher is high knees. You're just going to drop the dumbbell or dumbbells and just high knees on the spot. Yes. Seven seconds. Let's do this. Bye. Hold this in your chest, nice and secure. Let's go. So goblet squats, okay? Coming down as low as you can, elbows like almost touching the knees, and then squeezing back up. Twelve minutes round one. Twelve minutes round two. Yes, Mia is different. with us this morning. Yeah, she's back. That makes a difference. It was really quiet without her. Yeah. Well, she's currently fiddling with a dummy. Oh, she's got a dummy and something else in her mouth. Got two things in her mouth. She's never liked dummies. When um. Yeah, that's just one that's randomly on the yeah. floor. When uh, she was born, I bought them because I thought it was quite cute seeing a baby with a dummy. And I was like, oh, she can have a dummy. Never ever liked it. She should just, just spit it out. Yeah, just spit it out. <laughs> so. And we was like, what? Yeah. I mean, I know, like, obviously, on the plus side, you don't have to go through that battle of them trying to not you, like, get rid of the dummy. But I was like, oh, I thought she was going to be a little cute baby with a dummy. <laughs> Keep going, 20 seconds. Then legs getting warmer. Certainly are. Yeah. It's an extended warm up. Just don't spend too long resting at the top. Go straight into the next rep. Five seconds. And stop. Okay, into high knees. Low impact marching. Get the knees up nice and fast. Come on, 20 seconds. Good, 10. Oh, my heart rate is actually getting up. Woo! Stop. Two minutes. Right, dumbbell swings is the next one, okay? So legs wide, you can use one or two. Swinging through. Squeezing up at the top. Just like that. Okay, ready? We get 15 seconds rest. Yes. So really squeezing up, push the bum back. This is really good for your posterior chain. Good, 30 seconds down, one minute to go. Oh. oh! You don't want it in pen? No. No? Obviously not. You're not going to play that game though. <laughs> go on, 45 seconds. Mia's back into Peppa Pig now. I know. It was Peter Rabbit, now she just walks away. Yeah. I think it's just too much TV. <laughs> She goes through phases, doesn't she? Uh, you like Pippa now? That's Pippa. I, did, I think though, maybe it's because they understand it more. You know? <laughs> maybe. maybe. 15 more seconds. Stay with it. Going back to high knees in five. And stop. Into high knees, let's go. Is that funny? More on, uh, feet moving. Uh, come on, 10 seconds. Reverse 
lunges. So back with your weight. And just alternating the legs each time. Yes. Left knee close to the ground. So stepping backwards, get that knee as close as you can to the floor. Alternating, okay. If you do struggle with balance, just go a little bit out to the side, okay, as you take a step back. And also don't step too far back. No, and keep your core up as well. A lot of people do lunges like this. It's really important. If you do struggle with that, guys, hold the dumbbell in your chest. It will just keep your chest upright. Key is just to try and keep moving. Yeah. Good, halfway 45, okay? Yeah, if you struggle with grip strength as well, hold them at the top like Jordan. Uh, if your hands are slipping, forearms are hurting a little bit. Good, 30 seconds. Little burner, isn't it? Yeah. It's going quick though. It is fine, but this is already entering like minute number six or 12. Wow. Quarter of the way through. Yeah. 15 more seconds. And stop. Back to my knees, final time. Get the knees up. Ten seconds. Stop. Woo. Okay. Right, guys. Next exercise: deadlifts. Dumbbells either side of your hips, hinge at the hips, and stand back up. That's simple, okay? Yep. Let's go. You can use a tap technique from the floor. The tap and up. Okay. You can have a slight bend in the knees. The deadlift is more of a hinge at the hips, okay? Maybe keep your eyes fixed on a point five or six foot in front of you. And just keep that there. Yeah. You should feel the hamstrings at the back of your legs. One minute. The exercise that we're going to be going into for the last 30 seconds is jumping jacks or star jumps, whatever you, whichever you call them. Okay, and that's immediately upon dropping the weights. As long as they're out of the way. Yeah. I always say that because very easily done. Keep it going, 30 seconds. Just keep moving. 20. Lateral lunges. So one dumbbell or two. Just here. Step here. We can go half one one side and half the other side. So four or five seconds aside. Yeah. Go. Go as low as you can. Don't rush this one. Nice. 
mean, it's nine and ten. Wow. Uh, so really pushing off that leg that's come right. out. Fifteen seconds. Whoa. <laughs> and try to play it halfway. You guys know what she's doing. She's pushing the pen out towards us. And she actually has more room than us. Don't you, Amelia? She does. Stay with it, 10 seconds. Good, drop those weights. Straight back in. Let's go. Come on, nice and fast. 20 seconds. <laughs> that was not funny, was it? <laughs> no, we're not playing. <laughs> Stop. Oh dear. Okay, right, final on. exercise. On the floor, glute bridges. Okay, so one dumbbell or two on your fires. I'm gonna thrust up at the hips, okay? Yep. Oh, this is where we can't see the diver. Uh-oh. And step. Squeeze up. Really small range of motion, but you should feel the back of your upper legs and your bum. Try and stop your knees from caving in. Try and keep your knees out. Abduction at the hips. Yeah, and try and pause at the top for like count of two and then back down and just tap the floor and back up again, okay? You're not bouncing. Good, keep pushing. Yeah, 128. I have to guess. <laughs> Are you feeling it? Feel the peach? It should be. Good, keep it pushing. Probably over halfway. <laughs> We're so professional, aren't we? Okay, 30 seconds. Oh yeah, come on. Get those reps in. Big push up. Good, keep it going. Four, five seconds. Oh, you're good. Three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Getting weights out the way. Let's go. <coughs> Got to get a rest after this. Keep going to the end. Come on, 10 seconds. Five second rest and then we've got round two all different exercises even the 30 second finishes are going to be different as well however it is obviously going to get a bit more difficult yes did you bring tissue no it's a uh, towel Coming. how are you feeling <laughs> feeling nice and warm um, yeah. i hope so legs should be warm definitely so round two is coming up the first exercise is curtsy lunges, okay? You can hold a weight in your chest like a goblet hold, or you can hold them down by your side. We're going to do 45 seconds one leg, so curtsy in behind, tap, and back, and then 45 seconds the other leg, okay? What side are we doing first? Um, we do right side. Um, go Gordon. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Um, right, ready? 
curtsy lunges. The finisher is going to be... Let's go! Half burpees. And tap, okay? So coming behind. And tap. Kevin's trying to wind me up. About, about my name. You know I said on Monday about... Jordan. Golden. Golden. Yeah. That's right. To be fair, we've probably both been called worse names than Golden. <laughs> Yesterday, Golden. yesterday I was on the phone to um, someone and uh, they said to me, oh, what's your husband's name? We had to give like both information. And I said, Ray. And they said, and Bath surname? And I said, yeah. And he went, Ray-Ban. <laughs> and I said, um, change leg. I said, he hasn't been called Ray-Ban since he's been in school. I like, used to get called Ray-Ban. And, uh, and the guy on the phone went, that either makes me very immature, or well, I'm hoping you're going to tell me that he still gets called that. I was like, no, he doesn't get called that anymore. <laughs> Ray Ban. And everyone gets confused with the surname Bath as well. They're like, B-A-R, and I'm like, no, Bath, like a bathtub. I know, it's just the way we pronounce it. Bath. Most people pronounce it Bath. Bath. But we pronounce it, pronounce it bath. bath. <laughs> but it's because we're common, isn't it? <laughs> Five seconds. Good. Good, stop. Half burpees, low impact, four steps. Coming off the floor. Good deep breaths, okay? Thirty seconds down. That's my knees. Good, come on, stay with it. Halfway. Come on, get those reps in. 30 seconds. Stay with it, 15. Yeah, half burpee. Let's go. Yes. Okay, sumo did this. So we're going to take a nice wide stance, both dumbbells if you can, and they're going to be in between your legs. Just tap the floor and stand back up. Yep. Let's go. Okay, touch the floor, squeeze back up. This is number six. We're entering minute five and six of round two. Lying by. Squeezing the glutes at the top. 
30 seconds down, one minute to go. Come on. Everyone feels exercises differently, don't they? Yeah. Different biomechanics, but this is one exercise that I feel like loops. Like, especially if you do the abductor machine, you know the machine you sit on at the gym? And you push it out. Where you open your legs, um, and then you control on the way in. That's really working your bum and your abductors. Um, and then to do that, jump off that, and then into hey. some kind of sumo deadlift, your bum is going to be on fire. fire. Yep. Come on, keep pushing. I used to really struggle with glute engagement. Like, I love that superset. Yeah. In the gym. In my opinion, best for the bum. But it was different. Some people find really heavy glute with hip thrusts. Yeah, I've never I've never found them really like I can't really feel them to me. But yeah. everyone's different, yeah? Yeah. Split squats. Oh, here is big squats. Yeah. Heavy lunges. Yeah, see them or the sumos. But heavy glute bridges, I've never felt like really effective and I've never been able to go really heavy on them. Like you see some girls like loading up the butter, but my glutes just aren't strong enough. If you was at home guys, <laughs> now we all are for this workout. <sighs> Maybe we've got kneel down stand ups next, but maybe to imitate the abductor machine, you'd use a resistance band, pre exhaust, and then do the sumo deadlifts. Right, um, kneel down stand up, just hold one dumbbell in your chest, and we'll do one side going down on the right leg, or right knee, and stand back up. We'll tell you when to swap. And this stops you from resting on your leg as you stand back up. Yep. Like we've said many times before, it's a functional movement. Humans are meant to get down and get back up again. Okay? If you struggle with that, you've got to really try and focus on your goal of being fit. Because it is such a simple movement that's going to benefit you for a lot of things in life. Okay? And that's where a lot of people don't do their fitness goals properly. Right, coming down on the other leg, like it's all good about losing weight, but unless you can actually move like a human, perform. Focus on changing your life. Yeah, exactly. That's what's gonna yield long-term results. It's not just a quick fix. You know, you've got to focus and commit yourself to becoming fit and healthy. It is a lifestyle change. And it's very, very hard. Um, so we recommend changing different aspects or one aspect at a time. Okay, weight down. Squat thrust, follow right, low impact, follow me. Squat, kick, okay? Get that squat movement in. Stay low. Stay with it, 15 seconds. Come on. Oh, legs, legs, legs. Stop. Okay, well quick. Good. Okay, keep warming. So one dumbbell again on your back. And we're just going to hinge at the hips. Just like this. And squeeze the bar. If you don't want to hold it at the back, you can hold it in your chest like me. Push back and then squeeze up, okay? Just a slight bend in the knees, but you've really got to learn that hinge at the hip motion. So pushing back for your bum. As you push back, feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Squeeze up like you're doing the ugly bum, so to speak, we call it. Squashing a balloon in between your legs. Slight bend in the knees and power on thrust forward, okay? Keep that core engaged. You should really feel this in the back of the legs. Over halfway. Good, keep it going. Keep 
push it in 30 seconds. Squeeze up. into the next rep. <laughs> Do you think it's running? <laughs> Good day. Ah, change legs halfway. Woo! That's burning. Keep moving, guys. Lots of balance as well. Oh my gosh, legs are on fire. Come on, stay with it. 10 seconds. Intense workout, okay? Now we believe that's all you need to see the results that you want to see, okay? Definitely. Other factors have got to be bang on too, but you know, that's what most of us have got time for, you know? Definitely, and hopefully you felt that for sure. So please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and tag us on social media. You can share this one. Monday's one, maybe. <laughs> yeah, don't share Monday's one when I was actually sick in my mouth and had to swallow it. But hopefully we come back with a bang on Wednesday. Uh, but don't worry, that come back up later on that day anyway. So. Oh, don't say that. Um, say hello. I could say of you. Big head. Um, so yeah, we're going to stretch out. I highly advise you stretch out after the legs. Um, can you just move my laptop? Oh, yeah. Just in case. Amazing. Good work. So let's do some stretches. We are going to start on our hip flexors. Um, where are we going? Are going? Watch the tripod. Right, hip flexor stretch, guys. On one day. Chin at ten. Chin at ten. Which still really confuses me because she never wants to go in her tent. When it's in the garden. Yeah, right? apart from now when the YouTube video is a distraction. <laughs> Pushing back through the hamstring, pull that foot towards you. 
workouts fasted is just purely because of time we get up at uh, quarter past six we get ready we um, sort media out and obviously we go live at half past seven so we normally advise around 90 minutes like eating before exercise to let it go down um, an hour probably yeah, like just, max but yeah, don't get too close to yeah the workout. for us we'd rather a little bit extra sleep than to wake up, eat breakfast, wait for it to digest a little bit before we train. Yeah. Um, but there's no like benefits of, you're not gonna get better results by training fasted than those that do eat before doing this workout. For example, those that catch up with it into the glute stretch. It's just, if, you, if you're gonna commit to improving your health and your fitness, um, what better way to do it than to just wake up, get it done, and then start your day? Mm -hmm. you know, the training is starting your day, but for us, it just wake up, do your exercise, know that it's done because nothing else happens in your day, no matter how much stress with your work life, family life, whatever it may be, you're less likely to swerve the workout in the evening because you might have had a bad day. So if it's done first thing, then it's done. Nothing that happens in your day can affect mm -hmm. you actually committing to it in the day in the day or if you do do it after work because that's the only time that you can do it or late at night which i totally respect you for doing it after a long day um set yourself a reminder on your phone like an alarm to do it make sure your active wear is either already on you or it's you know, the first thing you see when you walk in and just get it done and i know it's really easy to put it off and go oh i'll just maybe i'll just do it tomorrow instead but like literally 24 minutes Done and you'll feel so much better for getting it done as well. Quad stretch. Mm -hmm. oh, here she comes. Jane's leg? Oh. Where, where do you want to go now? No, underneath. Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl. See it? Got your bulk. Is that nice? Okay, shake it all out. So, amazing work, guys. Well done. Happy hump day if you're obviously doing it on a Wednesday. Happy day, whatever day you're doing it on. We will see you on Friday for Tabata and Abs, your Friday finisher of this week. We're in the middle of July. Wow. Wow. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, and tag away. And we'll see you again very soon. Cheers, guys. <laughs>